Dominic Sawyer. Good all. Uh, welcome to another realestate.com.kh TV report. Today we're speaking with Mr. Alex Evergreen, uh, Senior Vice President at Key Real Estate and Chief Advisor for the CVEA and AVA. Nice to have you here, Alex. Thank you very much. Thank you for very coming. nice being here. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Phnom Penh real estate and a few other things. Uh, so let's get started. And so, uh, Alex, what do you think will be the major trends and changes we're, we're likely to see in the, in the next year in the Cambodian real estate market? Well, the, the trends are always moving indeed, and that's, uh, that's a very good question. For now, you see that the big trend in Cambodia is condominiums. Mm. A lot of condominiums being built right now, and we have in the next 18 months around 11,000 uh, condominiums will, will released mm. in, uh, into Phnom Penh. And that trend next to land, because land is always a very, very big thing in, uh, in Cambodia, and mm. that will stay for a long time. It's a very, very good time to invest in, uh, in land. And that's because Cambodia has 74% rural area, so there's a lot of potential. And uh, uh do you think there's going to be any problem with uh, oversupply in the condo market? No. And I can uh, straight away say it's not only the oversupply in condo market, but also the oversupply in real estate uh, products like landed properties, uh, condos, apartments. Uh, I would uh, uh, say there's an undersupply. Mm -hmm. And I will try to explain what I mean by that. Cambodia is very young, a lot of young people, and I mean a lot of people will get married in the very, very near future. That means Cambodia population will expand and that means we need more housing. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are a lot of projects going on, but we still need way more than what we have right now. If we look ahead, and in a very short time, the, the population will expand very fast. So yes, we have a lot of condominiums, yes, we have a lot of projects, but for the future, we need way more. So in that sense, there is no oversupply. There's just uh, a point that we have to make people aware and finish a lot of projects, and when the projects are being finished, they will be occupied. So, mm -hmm. no problem. And what do you what do you think about you know people say Cambodian mindset is is landed properties and, and they're not interested to live stacked up in, in condos. You hear that a lot, and that's actually a very very good thing. The landed properties and, and owning land and having a villa uh, is uh, is indeed something that Cambodians are very uh, very into, mm -hmm. but. As I told you, a very big group of young people. And the younger people following a trend from the West. Mm. And the trend in the West is condominiums and a different lifestyle. Live so, above the city. For Get instance, above the city but having everything town. available. Everything uh, like a swimming pool, like the gym, or mm. downstairs you have your, your office building. And that means that more and more younger people in uh, the, the, the mid-level are interested in, in starting to live in something else than what they had before. And the, the parents and grandparents see the benefit and the change in, in how people think. So they are also willing to help their children or grandchildren to buy a property like this. So uh, helping them with bank uh, or with money. Mm. So I think that the trend is, is mainly because the older generation think like that. And the younger generation, when everything is finished, when they are built, I think that uh, there will be a big shift towards condominiums. Mm. Mindsets change quickly. Definitely. Yeah. And how, what role, <coughs> what role do you think the banks play in regards to condo sales here? Well, you hear uh, some banks that they are not really keen on uh, investing in, in condominiums, but that's mainly because a lot of the condos are not finished yet. Mm. And what you now see is that uh, the younger generation is getting the older generation ready for when the condominiums are being finished and released into the market. Then. The younger generation show the benefits. They can show their parents and grandparents what the benefit is for living in a condominium. And if they then need financial help, mm -hmm. they uh, get, let's say, the, the, the hot titles or the, the, the LMAPs from their parents or their grandparents as collateral. Mm -hmm. And then banks also see the, the, the benefit for uh, supplying a loan for this. So I think that's actually pretty good. And I think it's also a benefit for the bank because there are so many and there is so much need in, in the real estate. So why should they not? Okay. And uh, looking forward a bit, where do you see the Cambodian property market in five years? Well, of, of course you will see shifts. And that means uh, now it's the condominiums and it's land. And at a certain point you will see a lot of investors, but also the, the local people start uh, looking uh, at the outskirts. Because as you know, uh, Phnom Penh is getting pretty full. Mm. 
Mm. You have BKK1, BKK2, and so on and so on. And a lot of areas are just full, so, but people still want to invest because we still need more housing. So you will see that people go more to the outskirts. Right now already you see a lot of the smaller borides. Mm. Uh, they're being built on uh, the outskirts of Phnom Penh and that will continue. Not only that, also a lot of projects will go to different provinces. You see that now uh, Sihanoukville is very into uh, yeah, people's mindset. You see a lot of the developers, they're like, okay, what is in Sihanoukville? What is in Cap? What is in Simrip? What is in Batamong? But also at the, the borders you see in Poipet and so on and so on. So more people and more developers will go outside. They will go outside of Phnom Penh. And that's a good trend because that means that the land prices are lower. So that also means that the normal people can invest in certain smaller projects. And we have no choice because we cannot put them all in that beautiful small circle in mm -hmm. Phnom Penh. So you have to go to the outskirts. So that's a trend. What I expect in the next five years that more and more people will go to the outskirts, have more projects over there. But uh, then you also see that less condo projects will be built in the outskirts. The condo project will be more centralized mm. into the heart of Phnom Penh and uh, the, the smaller, the, the Borai projects, not definitely small, but I mean the projects not related to condos will be on the outskirts. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming Alex, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you to all our viewers, stay tuned for the next realestate.com.khtv report.